On this Mother's Day in the United States, we say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are watching this. And we're going to give you a Mother's Day gift right now. You have comforted others by your presence, by your willingness, by your love. And now we pray that you are comforted. Also, we ask permission for all those that are not mothers that are watching this to also receive the blessing. We pray that you realize that God loves you and that you are also ever comforted as you have comforted others by God's love. We pray that in all the circumstances, all the stages of life, that you are comforted and that you are reassured by the tender and the loving presence of God. We pray that God's love for you is constant, unfailing, eternal, and that nothing can ever separate you from the love of God, especially not your own mind. May you always know and may you feel the love of God with you. Whenever you feel hurt and alone, just as you have comforted a child that was hurt and alone, we pray that God's love, it soothes and it comforts you. We pray that God's love restores in you a sense of self-worth and understanding that you are always loved. When you feel afraid or uncertain, just like you have had children around you that have felt afraid or uncertain, well, we pray that God's love directly strengthens you, giving you the courage to meet all challenges in a triumphant way and to live life in a victorious way. When you seem to experience a lack of health or prosperity, joy, or, or peace in your life. We pray that God's love will assure you again with a spiritual hug, a sense that you know that God is on all sides of you and within you, and the good you desire seeks you even as you seek it and expect it. God's love and goodwill we pray that it blesses you continuously. We pray that you realize that you're precious to God and you're one of God's beloved children, just like you have beloved children, and that you are directly an heir of blessing of eternal love in all that you do. In the Song of Solomon 2, verse 4, it says this, he brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. What this means in first century Christianity, if you were to read it back then, the Song of Solomon says that the banner over you is love. That means that everything that is to take place is anointed with the presence of love. We pray that you are anointed with love, comforted by love, empowered by love. As you go about your day, may you realize that your source is in filling you and will never deplete you.